Hey, eighth grade, Miss Fleming here again for the last video of the day. Today is Friday. You're working on angles in parallel lines. So let's get to the video. I'm practicing your IXL assignment with you. Again, your IXL was 017 transversals of parallel lines, find angle measures. Um, so without further ado, look at this diagram. If line NP and QS are parallel and line or parallel lines and the measure of angle NOM is 110, what is the measure of POR? All right, let's get our handy dandy writing tool out. All right, so it says NOM, NOM is 110. What is P O R? So if we look there, they are opposites. It should just be 110. Let's see. Is it really that simple? Brilliant. Let's do another. M O and P R are parallel. P Q N is 120. P P, Q, N is 120, and it wants to know M, N, L. Well, looks like it's 120 again. Let's see, I'm kind of being lazy. But it works. If line B, D, and E, G are parallel, what is the measure, and, oh, and the measure of G, F, C, G, F, oops, forgot to draw, G, F, C is 138. What is E, F, C, E, F, C? Right now, this one will have to do a little math. So we know that two angles on a straight line add up to 180. So we have to subtract 138 from 180 to figure out what this angle is. So can't do zero minus eight, 10 minus 10, or 10 minus eight is two, seven minus three is four, zero minus one, or one minus one is zero. So our angle should be 42. Let's check it out. Oops. So I'll do a couple more. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna jump up a level because it just puts it in decimals and I don't need to practice that because it's the same thing. It's just more annoying math. Like, I don't feel like writing this all out for you. You guys are smart and figure it out. The concept is just what you need help with. So as long as you understand the concept, I have full faith that you guys can do um, subtraction and addition with decimals. So lines S, U, and V, X are parallel. The measure of angle S, T, W, so S, T, oops, he's forgot to draw again. S, T, W is 134. What is V W Y? V W, oops, V W Y. They are the same. You just gotta look at it and be like, yep, yep, they're the same. 134. So they're parallel lines N M J is 55. What is IJM? They are alternate interior angles, so they are the same, which means it's 55. Then I'll do one more. So JKH, JKH is 67. What is LKH, LKH? So again, these two angles added together are 180. To find what LKH is, we just have to subtract 67 from 180. Can't do zero minus seven, but you can do 10, which is three. Seven minus six is one, and one minus nothing is one. So the measure of angle LKH is 113. If you guys need any more help, any questions on how I'm doing this, don't understand something, need a little more explanation, just let me know. 
uh, this video is here to help you. So if it helps, let me know that too. All right, enjoy your weekend.